Arsenal defender Per Mertesacker says they will not allow their Champions League disappointment to derail the season. Boss Arsene Wenger believes three points against Sunderland on Saturday would be crucial to their title challenge. In competitions, uh, in one week, you know, because on uh, Wednesday night we played against Man United in the Premiership, after on Sunday we played in the Cup, uh, Wednesday night in the Champions League, it's back to the Premiership. It's extremely uh, difficult to adjust every time to a different competition and physically as well, it's very demanding, but uh, we did fight so hard until now in the Premiership, of course, that we want uh, uh, to come back and uh, win our own game against Sunderland. New Fulham boss Felix Magath claimed the board sacked ex-boss Rennie Muhlenstein just in time for him to preserve their Premier League status. I think if you want to change something, you have to do it now. It was latest yeah, to change the team, to change the atmosphere, yeah, to have a chance to stay in the league. Manchester United hope to announce Wayne Rooney's record new £300,000 a week deal by the weekend. But the Red Devils face a backlash from fans after revealing they will charge Champions League ticket prices for next season's Europa League campaign if they miss out on a top four finish. Inter Milan president Eric Tohir claims the deal to bring Manchester United captain Nemanja Vidic to the San Siro in the summer is 90% done. Manchester City's Argentine striker Sergio Aguero hopes to return to full training next week. See eyes a Wembley return in the Capital One Cup final against Sunderland. City will face Liverpool at New York's Yankee Stadium in this summer's pre-season International Champions Cup. Neighbours United play Real Madrid in the eight-team US tournament.